In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to manage our marketing lists. So here's one of the common questions that we receive is that in MotherNode CRM, we're a CRM that helps manage our contact relationships with our existing customer accounts, but we also allow you to import marketing lists of people that you want to try and solicit and generate new business with or maybe have some follow-ups from a trade show or something like that. So the question is, how do I separate the two? How do I keep my, my real contacts away from my existing contacts? Well, the answer is simple. It's basically done through our advanced filtering features and the advanced options using the advanced search. So I'm going to show you one of several ways you can do this, but at the same time, this is a very basic technique to get you started. So in this case over here, let's take a look at the all. Okay, I'm going to show all right now. And I want to pull up this particular uh, contact that I have, Tammy Anscow. And over here, the way I'm going to do this is use this as an example of somebody that is part of a marketing list, but not really one of my customers. Okay, so or one of my customer accounts. So I'm going to open this up here. And then you can see I have the source. And I've identified this as a marketing list. So as an admin, I went in here and I've added marketing list to my list of sources. So no matter what the list is or what the occasion, if they're not part of my regular contacts and I'm going to import them from a list or get them from a trade show or they're just people I want to market to, I want to classify them as a marketing list. Okay. All right. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to cancel this here and then down over here I have marketing tags. Now the marketing tag is going to help me define the list or the source itself in which I want to classify this particular contact. So for instance, if they came from a trade show, I want to have a marketing list of people I met at a trade show, 50 people, I can put the name of the trade show, etc. And as you can see, you have one, one uh, more than one marketing tag. And so the purpose behind that is obviously if you have a variety of different reasons to communicate with this person based on their interests or the services and products that you offer, then you can um, use more than one marketing tag to generate multiple uh, marketing lists for your sequences and campaigns. All right, so what I'm going to do here is this. Let's take a look at how this comes together which uh, in my import process because that's what I'm going to want to do now. So first of all, I have a, uh, an Excel template here. And it's plain Jane. It's got the first name, last name, email, and I've identified the source as marketing list because I want to capture this information up front. And then I have the marketing tags. Now, if you're familiar with the um, advanced search and the batch update, you can pull up previously imported records and then go ahead and batch update them to reflect all sources being marketing list and then tag these accordingly after the fact so that if you forget to do this up front, you can do this after the fact. However, it's a lot easier for me just to do it all up front and make sure that every time I'm going to be importing something that I have a source and marketing tags that are included. By the way, you can have multiple marketing tags if you want by separating these with a comma. Okay, so you have that. All right, so I'm going to use this list. And then what I'm going to do is you can see I have 223 uh, contacts here. Uh, and I'm going to click on import and I'm going to choose my file. Click open. And now I'm going to upload the file. So if you're familiar with the um, uh, this this concept of importing you do it a lot then this is a no-brainer if this is new to you then basically uh, what you want to do is you're taking the opportunity here to map your fields so for instance first name last name and so on now this is a very basic import you can have some more uh, complex and more detailed ones if you want that's perfectly fine and you can use your custom fields to import and so on um, what I recommend at this point is that once you've finished doing your import presumably that you would do a future import with a similar list and so on you don't want to have to map these fields again just click new give this a name and then in the future you can call it up and then you'll see here now it's automatically populated the fields for me because it's going off of my last save uh, my last saved import template you can update this you can delete this or you can even create a new one from here okay all right so basically this is what i'm going to be working with this is the excel sheet now i just want to go ahead here and click import records okay so now I've imported the records um, if I made a mistake I can go over here to my imported records call up contacts this is where I was and I can delete that and start again in this case I can even view the records and so I can see these are the seven that I've pulled in okay perfect all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over here to showing the active and what I want to do here is you can see that I've added to my active 
search my default criteria because that is my default is looking at my active contacts so it's omitting inactive but now it's also pulling up or saying before you present me with my contacts because these are my customer account contacts I don't want to see marketing lists make sure that source does not equal marketing list and it will omit everybody that I have filed with a marketing list okay so I'm just looking at my regular contacts now if of course if I want to see all of them you can see now that I have more okay and it's just including all the actives and it's also including the people that were part of those marketing lists that I went ahead and imported okay so that's a way to keep that clean now on the reverse side of that how do I go ahead and you know just now show me people that are in my marketing list or a subset of marketing lists so an example would be as follows I've created this save search for marketing lists and now this all shows me only everybody who's active that's part of a marketing list. Now you saw that I had more before, there was seven, and then the additionals that I had in there that were part of a marketing list. So it shows anybody that I've ever imported classified as a marketing list in this list just by saying include source equals marketing list. Furthermore, what you can do is if you want to sort of uh, drill down into a particular marketing list, like the one that we uh, just imported had to do with Grapevine Marketers, in this case I can do uh, marketing list by name. And what I've chosen to do in this instance is keep the source equals marketing list. And then I want it to also have uh, marketing tags contains. And I leave this open. So this is like a wild card. So every time I pull this up, I know I can just get into this and add my own. So in this case, I'm just going to say grape okay for grapevine and I'll just hit search and now what it'll do is it'll pull up those seven okay so you have those seven that are right there and of course you could use comma separated in those I could do like I said the grapevine one plus another one if I want to pull those up as well and of course as you know once you do this uh, with your marketing list if I'm pulling up the ones that say grapevine like this and I'll just do this one one last time that when I have this and I click search it's pulling this up and this is where I can go ahead and add those people to a sequence it'll just add these seven people to that particular sequence whatever that may be okay so that is how you create those marketing lists just remember that you can always control your default view of what it is you're looking at when you land on any screen but in this case contacts and I'm looking at the active ones here so that is my my default that means that when I go away from this screen to anywhere else and I come back to it I'm not looking at the people that are in my marketing list I'm looking at my real contacts whatever that criteria is in my active because I've set that to be my default uh, will be which presents to me on screen so hopefully that helps you manage your contacts and your marketing list and of course you can use a variety of different uh, ways to do it but that's a basic way to get you started